Hello. And how old are you? Hi. <laughs> how old are you? Um, I'm 40. 40? I'm 40. What year were you born? Uh, 1970. Yeah, see, you should, you should lie better. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I mean, I don't, okay, what, what do you want? Well, I was actually born in 1996. Okay, so. I don't, but I don't <laughs> do that. Okay, well, we started off wrong. What do you want? Um, well, I wanted to, I guess, give my two cents on the... Why should anybody listen to a liar? Well, I was just playing with you. No, we don't um, know each other. Why? No, 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 no. Well, no, 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 no. That's no. Why should anybody listen to a liar with a bonnet on their head? Well, why should anybody listen with a, to a liar with a bonnet on their head in the dirty room? Well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell us why we should listen to a liar with a bonnet on their head in the dirty room. Well, you did allow me to join the meeting. And I really appreciate it. I did, I did before before you lied to me. You thought you started off a conversation with a strange person in a, a show? You think that's proper? Is, is that how you were raised? No. Okay, your mother and father will be proud that you did that? No, they would. Okay, then why don't you damn well apologize? Please accept my apologies, Mr. Samuels. All I'm trying to get, go ahead. What would you like? Because, I mean, we got to stop being so informal with each other. That's not okay, young lady. I agree. I agree, sir, especially given the differences in our station, our ages, and clearly what? the things that we have access to. Well, There's that's... quite a lot of space between us. And I should yeah. have been more polite. So, yeah. again, I do apologize. What was the point you would like to make? Well, I just thought it was funny because you know my hair is kind of short, so said, was, you know you, the, you made you made the, a what mention. Was the point, what was the point that you would like to make? Well, um, I was going to say that yes, while it might be, I agree with you to some degree that this is a high value man's world, but you know, Mr. Brown, another very wise and worldly man he did say that even though it's a man's world it'll be nothing without a woman or a girl so that's my two cents it'll be nothing without a woman or a girl to do what well to live for no or to live with i no. think it's very fascinating no. No. Okay. First off, you don't over talk well, me. Don't, no, don't over talk me. That's one we think we don't do. Uh, if men, okay, it's a man's world, but it'd be nothing without a woman. Really? Let, let's 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 interrogate that. I mean, it wasn't my idea. It no, I'm mean, asking. Well, let's interrogate it though. Let's interrogate it. The the are you in a house, an apartment, or a dorm room? I'm in a home. A house. Okay. Uh, who do you think actually built the house you're in? Was it a crew of men or a crew of women? I imagine it was a crew of men, sir. I, I, I okay. am familiar. Oh, oh, okay, I get, I get it. Well, no, no, we don't over talk me. That's not, that's not the point. So it is a man's world and women have their place. But what place is that? It's in the kitchen say kitchen but okay where else uh, it's um with the children do women have anything to do outside of the house of course what would you say you know uh i know because you are part of a black week organization that you are aware of how black sororities they still do to some degree, but how they used to like run charities and like women clubs meetings and they would get together and say, you know what, 
we need a library, you know, in this town. So let's all get together, Maria, Susan. Do they do that anymore? Some pies. Do they do that? Do they do that today? Do they do that today? I think so. White women certainly do. Okay. Was that beneficial to the community? Of course, it, it, it was. I think it still is for the communities who continue those practices. Do we do it in our community? I think so to some degree, but just not in the, not to the extent. Why that not? It Why not? Well, because women are otherwise occupied. Doing what? Well, it's quite vulgar. So I don't know if I should say it, but your terminology is riding the cop carousel. What are, what are they doing when they're not doing that? They're working very hard to make money and be socially mobile. The average black woman earns less than $50,000. 74% of black women earn less than $50,000 a year. I and know. Not, and, excuse me. And yet. Don't and, over talk me. Are there's you not much, smack me? There's, no, there's not much social mobility for three quarters of our women because they make less than fifty thousand. Yes, it is a pity. It's not a pity. And a damn shame. It's not, it's not. It's not a pity. It's not a pity. It's predictable. Well, I think it's a. It's a, it's not a pity. It's predictable. It's predictable because just like all the attitudes you have and the sass and the silliness, this is what happens. You get a bunch of women living by themselves, doing what they want. Nobody takes you seriously. So when you're making, you're working hard to live by yourself. As I would say, the cock carousel is a distraction from the pain. I want you guys to understand something. Why I let that go is because whether she th knew it or not, your character, this, this is like an avatar or a caricature of how so many people see modern black women. You come in here with somebody old enough to be your father and you think it's a joke. It's a game. With a bonnet on your head. And then give him a chance to have a conversation. Just Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. All right. I'll make you famous.